Hey guys, this is Caden with Primal Effect, just doing a little bit of commentary on a game we had a few weeks ago. This is a uh, three on four out in the woods at our paintball field tyranny from what we call a fallout paintball. Uh, as you can see, there's some pretty thick cover. We're going to move down this river until we hit the other team. This typically is a pretty good strategy. Uh, if any of you have played on this type of a field before with you know, juniper and pinion trees, a lot of sagebrush, uh, you know that, um, you know, in any woods ball field really, you know that the beginning of the games are really important as far as which players are going which direction, what how the forces are split. It really makes a lot of difference when it comes to the actual engagements. Because uh, positioning positioning in paintball is everything. Whether you're on the speedball field or whether you're on the woods ball field, it's all about the angles you take. And uh, here at the beginning of the game, it's really important to get the right positioning so that once you meet the opposition, you can then you know attack, defend, whatever you need to do in order to win the game. So the way our games typically will go is the first half of the game is just trying to find the other team, you know, trying to get the drop on them, trying to surprise them one way or another, whether that's a flanking maneuver or whether that's just, you know, bunkering down and waiting for them to walk on top of you. Uh, it just kind of depends. So it is a little bit quiet here in the beginning. Uh, we haven't actually spotted any of the opposition yet. We're just moving down this, this left side of the map. Um, the tape line is on my left. You can see there's a road there. And uh, there's a fence just to um, the south of the road, and that fence is the tape line. So I'm basically just running down the tape, uh, keeping an eye out for guys. I, like I said, I haven't seen anybody yet. We're still kind of filling them out. Um, both of these teams, um, I'm on the team with three players total. The other team has four. Uh, both teams are have some experienced players, uh, so it's going to be a good fight either way. No matter uh, how it shapes up, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, here in the shots, you can see my gun. I run a die dam. It's olive in color with the box rotor. Uh, I've absolutely loved it. I've owned it since, uh, I believe, April of uh, this year, of 2017. Um, probably put eight or ten cases through it. And yeah, I just love it. Um, it's, it's a smooth gun. For what I do, you know, I'm a woods ball guy, and it is tons of fun for out in the woods. It's a tough gun. Um, it's really built um, very well. I think the workmanship from Die is top top notch with it, and I've really enjoyed it. In the very beginning, I had a hard time with getting breaks when I used the box rotor. Uh, I made some adjustments as far as bore sizing my paint a little better when it came to my barrel, and uh, that helped quite a bit as well as just in general buying higher quality paint is a good bet. But yeah, the box shoulder is really nice. It makes aiming down the sights that much better. As you can see, I've got a sight. And yeah, it's just so much easier for target acquisition if you can actually you know, aim down the sights rather than trying to look around a hopper. So we're getting to the point where we're just about to start engaging the enemy. We've got a kind of a feel for where they're coming at us now. We still haven't gotten any for sure visuals on them but the three of us are all fairly close to each other so we can back each other up pretty easily and that way hopefully if we if the opposition has split up their force hopefully we can just take out you know one of the one of the teams quickly and then move on to the other one Okay, so that's the first engagement. My my point man, Kyle, just engaged the enemy up front. Jaren is over there on my right flank holding it up. And uh, what, the only thing I don't like about the dam is that it has an auto-off feature. I believe it's after every 10 minutes of no function. You know, If you don't shoot within 10 minutes, it'll auto-off, which is really annoying. As you could see there, it happened. and wasn't game-changing in this regard, but sometimes I believe it could be. So now we know we've got one directly in front of us. And so as I said, Kyle's engaging him, Jaren's gonna watch the flank, and in the woods when you're playing out here, you really have to watch your flanks because there's so much room to maneuver. So we're trying to keep this guy pinned down and then we're also watching our flank to make sure that they're not making a move on us. Because that's what you know we're, we're really worried about because we have less men than the opposition. And even a one man um, advantage when you're this small in numbers, can be pretty huge as far as tactics. 
So I'm helping Jaren out here on the right hand side. There's one player on the opposition who is just notorious for totally backdooring people and so we're really trying to keep an eye out for him. And uh, as it turns out, he's actually directly in front of me right now. Um, what the opposing team did, we all came in a little bundle, you know, we're all fairly close, but the opposition split up into two teams of two and one flanking element, which we're, I'm now facing right now, and then the other element, which was which Kyle's have in a firefight with at the moment on my left. And so we're in a little bit of a hard spot because they, you know, the strategy was pretty good. We were hoping to mow down one team pretty quick, but uh, it's turning more into a stalemate, which is not good for us. So now we're just trying to make sure they can't turn our flank. It's a little hard to see, but uh, they are directly in front of me right now. There's two of them. So between me and Jared, Jaren, Jaren's moving all the way on my right flank now, trying to get behind them and stop them from getting behind us. And now I can hear Kyle over there duking it out with with the other players. And so we really need to turn, we need to turn this flank really quick and uh, try to see what we can do. So right here, I actually hit the opposing player. Um, he was actually turns out one to be down, the one, one that down. we were most worried about too, which is nice. So now he's down, now it's a three on three, it's an even fight. Um, I know Jaren is on my right, so I'm feeling confident. We've only got one player in front of us. I've got two on my left now that Kyle's engaging, so I really need to turn and help Kyle. But I wanna make sure that Jaren can take care of the other player in front of us. So as you can see, if you can see him move right there. So he's gonna cut to my right. And so now he's moving around me, I'm a little worried, but I know that Jaren is over there. So I'm just hoping that he runs right into Jaren and that Jaren can just mow him down. It's always fun out here. You're playing in the woods. You have, it's hard to see the opposing players, so it's a lot of fun. The adrenaline's pumping. Uh, I can so I can see Jaren in front of me now, and I'm trying to warn him that there's a player directly in front of him. But I know that I need to go help Kyle now because Kyle's the, the entire game has been outmatched two to one. So I really need to help him. I spot one player, trying to put some paint on him, keep his head down a little bit while I move up. Making sure that the uh, guy behind me isn't coming up on me. So now I'm just trying to keep his head down while I see what else Kyle's dealing with up here. I'm not in a great position, honestly. I should have I should have moved out wider or I should have come back a little bit. You can see I get one, one guy there and then I get tagged. So thanks for watching, guys. It was a fun little woods ball game. Appreciate your viewership. Be sure to subscribe and like. Thanks. Nice job, dude.